hello children how are you all hope you all are fine at home and safe also today i am going to teach you the poem giraffes which is written by mary ann hoberman so she is the poetess of this poem mary ann hoberman and this is a poem about giraffes okay so this poem i'll teach you in this video this is the poem after lesson number 2 of english literature okay so let us begin now giraffes i like them ask me why because they hold their heads up high because their necks stretch to the sky because they are quite calm and shy because they run so fast they fly because their eyes are velvet brown because their coats are spotted tan because they eat the tops of trees because their legs have knobby knees because 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 that's why i like giraffes yes so children in this poem the poetess is describing about giraffes okay so in the first line you see second line uh, giraffes i like them yes so in the first line she is telling the uh, about giraffe that she is saying uh, she what, what is the poem about it is about giraffes and then she discusses how uh, why she likes giraffe okay so she likes them then then she says ask me why why she is uh, liking those giraffes okay so to tell the answer that why she likes the giraffes she says because they hold their high, heads up high yes because their head is so high because their necks stretch to the sky yeah? their neck is also uh, stretchable it seems to stretch up to the sky because they are quite calm and shy then next feature she is telling that they are quiet they are calm and they are shy shy means sharmila yes because they run so fast they fly yes she is also saying that they run so fast that it seems ki that they are flying because their eyes are velvet brown uh, now she is describing the eyes of giraffes as velvet brown eyes yes now what is the meaning of velvet meaning is given over here velvet means a thick shiny and soft material okay so the eyes of the giraffes are as soft and as shiny as velvet then comes because their coats are spotted tan now what is the meaning of coats and tan coats means here it is uh, talking about the skin of the giraffe okay and tan it is a yellowish brown color as you can see in the picture a uh, yellowish brown color is shown yes of the skin of the um, giraffe so this is the meaning she is talking about the skin of giraffe it is pale yellowish brown color because they eat the top of trees yes she also likes the giraffe because they can eat the trees okay the upper part of the uh, 
up to the upper part of the tree they can reach and eat the leaves and all that because their legs have knobby knees and now she is also talking about their legs their legs have knobby knees knobby means bony yes they are having the bones in the knees because 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 that's why i like giraffes okay so with these all the reasons she says these all the reasons uh, are there are these reasons because i like these giraffes okay so she has mentioned many reasons for liking the giraffes so now the poem is completed and now you have to do the english literature dictation words and word meanings poem okay giraffes dictation words begins now number 1 giraffes number 2 heads number 3 stretch number 4 velvet number 5 spotted number 6 knobby okay there are six dictations in this poem then we come to word meanings number 1 velvet 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 means a thick shiny soft material okay number 2 coats here the meaning of the coats is it is talking about the skin of the giraffe okay that's the meaning number 3 tan a yellowish brown color number 4 knobby knobby means bony okay so these all are uh, four word meanings and six dictation words these you will do in your notebook and exercises we'll discuss in the next video Thank you